40 below overboot can be used over a alpine touring ski boot with the textile binding fittings by cutting three holes, two in the front and one in the heel, go over the boot to be put in the binding. We're converting the overboot to its ability to work with an alpine touring ski boot with the textile binding and the toe and the heel. Massage the boot into place and make sure that it's well seated and pulled down evenly on both sides of the boot. Make sure the toes pull down, that stitching will follow approximately the line of the toe area there. You'll feel here with your finger that you can feel a little depression right here. Feel around. Once you find where the hole is, take a small projectile and you can feel that. Now you can feel where the hole is. This is a hole punch from a Swiss knife. And you can make a little mark there because that's where the recess is. And switch over to scissors. And small Swiss Army knife scissors will do it. Make sure you have an area where you understand where that is. Maybe make a little snip and stop. Then take the overboot off. You'll note where you made your mark. We're going to make a, a half inch circle right in this area. And so you'll just use this to gently Simply circle around. Turn the material off. Here's the access hole. Now we're going to check to make sure these line up nicely. Putting the overboot back on. There's our access hole. Now repeat the same steps to put this same hole access on the other side. Once both holes are completed for the first time, go back, put the overboot on, and see where you need to make it just a little bit larger for access and that they line up. This one looks pretty good. This one we might take just a little more material off here. So go back in and trim just a little bit more. Is a little bit larger hole there. Okay, now we've made this a little bit larger of a hole for easy access to the pin. And you might have to come back and trim this a little more. We'll find out once we put it on the ski. Next, we will cut the access hole for the rear heel area. We're going to cut the rear of the overboot heel out to allow access for the DNFIT textile heel piece. So clear the snow out. Note the width on this 
And you can do that by taking a lanyard and saying, okay, it's about that wide, about right here. So, you know, from here to here, or uh, about the width of the corkscrew there, about right. Okay, we're cutting the heel out. We know this is the center line down to the bottom. We're gonna be making a small rectangle hole. Using our previous measurements, lining that up about that wide and about that tall. So I'm gonna make a single slice down for access. And to do that, you can just simply, this is about right here, Gently poke the hole through. And then cut down right down to the stitching line. And stay above the stitching line. You can see it there a little bit, so just stay above it if you can and cut up. And then we know that the width is about this wide. So if we use our corkscrew again, be somewhere out to here. And so we can. Remind ourselves, understand the material to be removed. Here's our first rectangle. I'll try them back on the boots. the lineup and it looks like we could probably move just a little bit more material here and here it's better to start small and then cut material off so we'll take just a little bit more off here and trim that down We may make these a little bit wider here. Let's put it on the binding and see how she fits up. We're putting the Fresh Trex over boots with the tech holes and heel cut into the binding. Clear the snow off. Line up the toe first. Engage. Check to make sure it's engaged. Press the heel down. Go.